question right here on the back left, please. AJ McCord, Corn Six, Portland. Uh, Damon, CJ, the first game you guys struggled to score offensively. It seemed like it got going a little bit better tonight. How did you attack New Orleans differently, or did you attack them differently, and how can you improve for games, the games in New Orleans? Uh, I think we did a good job moving the ball, especially in the first quarter. Um, third quarter, we were a little stagnant. But um, overall, I think we had the same looks we got in the first game. We just made them early on. Uh, Nurk finished strong inside. Uh, Chief hit some threes. Mo was perfect from the field, and I gave us a boost. So I think that was, that was the difference from what I noticed. On the right, please. Dame, just where are you at mentally right now? I'm um, just a little bit frustrated. Um, you know, just expecting more out of myself. Um, you know, coming into the playoffs, you know, team's going to lock in and they're going to try to make the game hard for you. And um, I, I give a lot of credit to them for, you know, executing their game plan, um, you know, seeing two and three guys, you know, it, and making the game difficult, you know, but the opportunities that I do get, um, I just got to be better. You know, I think it's as simple as that. Um, but I'm, I'm fine mentally. You know, it's just, it's just frustrating to, you know, fight an entire season for home court and then come out and, and not perform individually or as a team in the first two games of a playoff series. So, you know, we just got to move on to the next one. Question for either player. Right here. Here. Kerry Eggers, Portland Tribune. CJ, now you're down 0-2, going to New Orleans. What's the mindset of the team, and what do you, can you do there to change it? Um, yeah, we're down 0-2, heading to New Orleans. We've got to have the same mindset they had. And go into their home court, compete, um, get second chance opportunities for, us, for ourselves, get loose balls. Uh, this is a must win. We've got to go in there and, and take both of them. For both you guys, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Uh, Coach Gentry said that Drew Holiday to him is possibly with Kawhi out the very best two-way player in the game right now. Can you comment on that and what kind of impact he's had in these two games at both ends? Um, I mean, I think he is. In my opinion, I think he's one of the, the best defenders out there on the perimeter. Um, but I think in this series, he's, he's just playing well. You know, I think, you know, he's big and crafty. Um, and coming off that pick and roll, you know, he's – He's able to get those floaters and get to the rim, you know, and he does that well. So, um, you know, maybe we need to change uh, the attention that we're giving him, you know, make it a little bit harder, uh, send two guys in those situations. But he's playing well on both ends. Um, he's impacting the game on both ends of the floor. Yeah, he's a very good player. I said it coming into the series, you know, he doesn't get a lot of credit um, because he's playing with AD. And uh, I think you're starting to see how good he truly is, you know, on both ends of the floor. He's got good pace. He's got good patience and pick and roll. And uh, I think they, they have a, a good defensive team overall with the length. You know, they, they provide on the perimeter with AD and uh, each one more and some of those guys. But, you know, he's a good player. He's playing extremely well. we gotta, we got to limit some of his opportunities going forward. Behind. All right. Dame, do you expect you guys to make changes now, kind of strategy-wise or lineup-wise or – do you stick to plan, you think? You know, I think um, we made some good adjustments offensively. You know, I think tonight we got, um, like CJ said, some of the same looks as game one. We just made a few more. Um, but just some, some little wrinkles that we put in, you know, they led to better opportunities. And, you know, sometimes we didn't turn that into points. Um, but I, I like what, what we did from game one to two offensively. But I think defensively just uh, maybe the aggressiveness that we could have on, on their ball handlers. Uh, maybe, you know, we adjust in that area. Uh, but just the – I think these first two games, you know, came down to, you know, a lot of 50-50 balls. Um, you know, they were just more grimy than we were. Uh, you know, they they played a more physical game and they, they gutted it out uh, more so than – more than we did in, in both games. And we got to go to their home floor and, and do the same thing. On the left. Serena Winters, NBC Sports Northwest. Dame, you just said, you know, you're just feeling feeling frustrated right now, like you could have done more. Do you feel those frustrations during the game, or is that not something you allow yourself to do until after the game's done? No, I, I think after the game when when you see the result, you know, we've lost the games, and it's like, man, you know, I, my job is to do more, or you, you know you can do more because I, I always do. But um, just the, the way that they're covering, I think it's – the right thing to do is to trust, you know, to, to make the right play, uh, to find the next guy. But it's, a, you know, finding that balance of being aggressive.
um, and making those right plays and the situation that our team is in, you know, this is this is our season. So I think that's the the frustrating part when the game is over and you look back at it. Um, but I, I think the beauty of that is is knowing that you know we we dropped two at home, but you know we've won on their floor before, um, and and we feel like we're capable of doing the same thing they did to us, to them. Uh, but I know I got to be much much better in order for us to do that, um, and I I know I'm built to to bounce back in that way. So you know frustrated with with my performance and knowing that I could do better, but um, I guess not down about it at all. You know I know that going forward I can you know I could really turn it over. So. You know, we'll see. Third row. Dame, Andrew Greif from the Oregonian. You're such a vital point of this team's leadership. What are you going to do in the next 48 hours to make sure the team's in the right mental state to go into game three feeling like you guys can win? I think it's just important for us to, to be who we are, you know, continue our communication like we always do. Uh, we're going to get on the plane tomorrow, and we're going to interact how we always interact. I think it's something to be said about, you know, being uptight and panicking and, and worrying. Um, it's a position that we, we didn't want to be in. Nobody wants to be in, especially when you start off a home court. Um, but we competitors. You know, we, we, this is a game that we love to play, and it's, it's supposed to be fun. And um, as a competitor, the challenge should be fun. You know, you don't want to be in this position, like I said, but it, it should be fun, and we should accept that challenge. You know, if not, then, you know, it could be a quick series. Any questions for Dane or CJ? Okay, thanks, fellas. Thanks, Sean.